During our lessons, we will not only be acquiring knowledge about runes, but also will be making them. For this, we sent each one of you a blank set of work pieces chosen by you. Different trees have different energies. But the material isn't as important as what you will fill it with. We will be carving a rune at each of our lectures during the process of our work. I am telling you in advance that you are by no means forced to carve your runes during the lesson. You are just given the opportunity to do so. And my personal recommendation, and perhaps an appeal, is that if you don't finish your rune within the time frame allotted for this process, then that you at least start to draw it. It is very important for the rune itself and possibly for you as well. Please keep in mind that while working with a magical tool, in this particular case with runes, we do find ourselves within a united closed magical field. You will be protected and supported by the ancient tradition of the Norse myth. Supported in this matter, therefore, everything that will be happening while you'll be tracing and carving the runes, in the moment of your awakening of this rune within you, and the transferring this awakened quality onto the rune, is no accident. And it will be easier for you to understand what it is that the runes are initially telling you. And they will start telling you things during the very first stages of outlining the rune's shape. You will right away see the peculiarities of your consciousness, because as many people as we had going through this first course of the runic department, as many people carved runes at our lessons, there have never been two identical runes, not once. They are all unique. Even if the symbol is always the same, we show it in the same way and its configuration is the same. You configure the rune within yourself and after you have set it inside of you, you start mirroring the image on your workpiece. And there are never two runes alike. And this uniqueness will be the first indication of the uniqueness of your consciousness. Yes, I am the way that I am because you now have simply transposed yourself, reflected yourself within me. Such is your consciousness. Look, I have this certain thickness in the shape you cut out. I wanted you to color me in this particular way. I wanted the depth of the cut to be precisely like this. Your hand cuts the way it does without knowing why it does it. But the rune knows. And once the rune is ready, it shows itself to you. Look at me. This is how I am, because such is the power we have. Whereas here we have some vulnerabilities. This quality of ours is vulnerable. And we now have the opportunity not only to change this, but to become aware of the reason. Where did we get this force from and where did we get this vulnerability from? This is precisely how the runes will be talking to you, in the same way that you will be listening to them. Your interaction will be that of a teacher and a student, where the rune will act as the teacher. And each rune will be teaching you. The choice of the material is completely at your discretion. You don't have to use the work pieces that you receive from our school. There were and there will be questions in this regard, this is why I am answering them in advance. You are absolutely free to use any material you wish. If you want, you can use bones, you can use stones, you can use wood that you have gathered in the forest. If possible, try using a natural material, something long-lasting. If you already have a set of runes you usually work with, it doesn't matter. Set it aside until its time comes, once you have finished making this set here. Don't mix them together. 
These runes we are making are not made for mantics, even though you may later use them for that as well. We are making them for magical transformation. They will work as a magical transformer and they are meant for this first and foremost, and all the rest comes after. Therefore, never mind how many sets of runes you possess. As many as you may have, they will not disappear and there is a time for everything. You can easily use them further, as you did before, if you have been practicing runic mantics. Whereas this particular set, treat it as if it were a certain highlighted portion of your consciousness. Don't force it before it's time, before it is ready. It is not even like the consciousness of a baby. It is the consciousness of a newborn, a newborn God, a newborn world. Protect it. Protect your runes. Keep them in secret. Don't show them to anyone for now. Or even better, never show them to anyone.